A letter. For me? Walk on, girl. Tell me again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lusiton's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847? The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map of the palace with the room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. 
I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie? Certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will meet back on the train. Be careful. Requiescated Patchy. One less arsehole to worry about. I'm glad you're dead. That's not them. What's the plan? When you give the signal, I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away. And I'll take advantage of the confusion. Ready? Absolutely.
No. Nothing here. Looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. I bit one of them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. They won't get far, though. One wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You can see the cart tracks. It looks so wobbly-like. Ha! <laughs> 
cart's been run off the road. They must be driving quickly. around here today all kinds of unsavory types wandering around armed to the teeth i don't like it one bit Yes, they pulled someone out of that carriage. Dead drunk he was. They carried him into the churchyard. Maybe he wanted a quiet place to sleep it off. Ah! 
Send someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. What about the plans? The plans are lost! Evie, I'm sorry. Just concentrate on escaping, please. I need you to do. Exciting girl to look at that. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green.
minute. Some sort of scuffle over there. Who are you and what's your game? Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool! I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. Alongside no, certainly not! You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny! Perhaps you that! So the Russians thought they had us cut off from our own life. Now, a lesser command of us. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. An exception. 
If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. So right, you Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. He must be up to something. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag list. parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody stars. Somehow to I can see it. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. I presume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir! Some old bloke paid me to... Smug bastard. Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is, you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Yeah! 
So much for the house call. I'll have to find a way into that carriage. of this who the devil are you prime minister i'm your new bodyguard jacob fry i wasn't informed of any new bodyguard who's your commanding officer let the boy speak dizzy <laughs> madam apologies but we've learned of a threat on your life and the met thought it best to move quickly threat what sort of threat <gasps> that sort if you excuse me a moment So fast, Your Excellency. Gladstone, that bloody 
man. He will pay for this. Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. Young man, dizzy enough to keep you on to deal with the liberals. Doing fine, girl. Slow down.
now. In the car, close my minister's wife. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Walk on, girl. Steady on. In the carriage, get after them. Let us avoid these vultures. That's a girl. Please, give me your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. Gentlemen is a monger, was it? Yes, a gospel monger. <laughs> Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? Yes, they, uh, they seem to be, um... I've been married twice, Mr. Fry. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. Give 
you won't get away with that! is brewing. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are. The old one-ton pup. So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. <laughs> Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Hmm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> Well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome. Let's go. He's on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens. Campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. 
Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Do be careful. The government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Tonight's a good night, Paul. Robbing a bank. So you do want to fuck? What's you said? You a cop or something? Take it easy, Linton. Settle down now. You in a challenge, me then? I'm fairly slick up on some of them. So you do want to fuck? Oh! 
ibuprofen. Come with me, Linda. be a slave to them all your life. I won't stand for it.
Manually journey. than Miss Beatrice Gribble. Ooh! With blood in my veins. Royal ancestry in Spain. And nobody back. I'm gonna approach her caution. He's entered my line of course. <laughs>
if you think... What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. I just need to get inside. No need for this to get messy. All right, all right. Just on her.
turn somewhere, boy. Here we go. remains in this house, the penalties against the giver of the drive will ever be seriously enforced. Right there. And I am. However, credit seems a 
open. Can't imagine he's up to any good. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be the taking place? That, uh, however possible it may be, oh, yes, yes. It's a uh, uh, justice way. Shall be awarded. Me, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cardinals of Britannia are not wavering in their duties. Hmm? Password. <laughs> no passage password, no passage. Do you know who I am? I'm a member of Parliament, you Christian. No password, no passage, sir. We had turned our coats at the first sign of difficulty, hmm? lined against the wall, and shot. And deservedly so. Christ, not Bella Clara again. I am sorry, my lord. Password. Balaclava. Come in. Ah, minute. Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like je Good God! Who the bloody hell? Oh, shut up. should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, 
I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions, and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otzelberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud.